Hello everyone, so in this video I will explain to you the IPQP or the Advanced Product Quality Planning which is a part of the core tools in the automotive industry. So as you know there is five core tools in the automotive industry. We have FMEA, PPAP, SPC, MECA and we have as well the IPQP which is the project management of uh, in the automotive industry which is including all the other let's say core tools inside so first of all let me tell you that in every let's say every field or in every industry you can find out that the project manager he is making the uh, let's say his planning or his uh, his uh, Gantt uh, project chart uh, based on his experience based on his background based as well on the activity of this project so he can start by anything he needs it depends of his project and he can end by anything the only purpose is to with this project at the end but in the automotive industry it's not the case we have uh, let's say defined planning and defined requirements and defined steps or phases that everyone in the automotive should follow so the reason why because this IPQP it's not used only between two let's say uh, customer and supplier no but it's used by all the supply chain because we have the first let's say uh, one who is requesting it's the OEM it's the end customer he is requesting the IPQP or the development of such a project to his first let's say uh, supplier but this supplier he needs some raw material and he should develop the same project with his sub supplier and this sub supplier he should develop it with his sub sub supplier and so on and so on so how the end customer will uh, let's say be sure that everyone in the supply chain will respect the same phases and will, will respect the due date of this project if we will say from now to one year and to one year and a half we should finish and start the production of the serial production of this project so how can we know that all the supply chain can follow this requirements so for this reason in the automotive industry they are creating this tool ipqp which is managed the let's say the project management in the automotive in industry so let's start so in general we have we have five phase and i will show you in let's say in details uh, every phase the meaning of every phase and at the end of this video i will show you an example uh, the global example that with uh, let's say with the, the requirements documents inside for every phase uh, the only thing that you have to know that uh, uh, let's say the meaning of every phase it's it's standardized but what is inside it's not standardized because it depends of the project and it depends of the customer so what i am requesting you to do that before to start any project with any customer you have to go to his csr his customer specific requirements or to look inside his portal to know exactly what he's requesting in every phase and at the end as i told you of this video i will show you just one example of one oem what what they are requesting for every for every step so let's start so the first phase it's to the planning and definition of the program so the first phase you have to define and to plan this project between the supplier you and <coughs> sorry and your 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 customer so all what is what it should be inside regarding the requirements regarding the customer specific requirements regarding the risk assessments regarding the design of the product regarding cost the planning when it will be finished this project uh, when every phase should be finished and so on so all what is related to the project it should be defined in the first phase so once uh, to uh, let's say the customer and supplier agreed about everything the customer can approve and pass to the second phase which is the product design and development verification so in the second phase the supplier should start the development of the product 
So he should collect all the inputs, the let's say the drawing, the design, design if it's if it's required, and everything in order to build the design or the prototype of uh, this 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 project or of this product. So all this phase it's regarding the development of the of this product so as i told you you have to look to the portal of your customer and to know what are the requirements some customers for example can ask you about your capability can ask you about the design if EMEA. maybe they can ask you even to start the development the epifemia of the development phase so all what is related to the design development it should be included in this phase so once you upload all those documents inside the portal or it depends of, of your customer maybe you can just send this by emails so when the customer will approve everything he will ask you for the prototype here so once the prototype is good with let's say uh, the designed as as the customer uh, let's say designed the, the 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 drawing so once they are approving the prototype plus all the documents so then you can go to the third to the third step so the third step you have to start the development of your process so where you have to produce the designed product in order to respect all the requirements in the serial production means you have to start to 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 buy the machines to 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 qualify the machines to make the the pfma and so on so all what is related to the process process pfma uh, control plan documentations uh, r and r and so on so all what is related here as i told you again so you have to see what are the requirements of your customer so then let's say the responsible of the ipqp it's not the one who is creating all those documents but you have to collect all those documents from from the team for example you have to go to collect the capability from the process engineer you have to go to collect the r and r from the responsible from the laboratory and so on so let's say it's the pilot of the project he should go and collect all the elements from the other team then start to upload the those documents uh, for approval to your to your customers so once the process is ready to produce and everything is inside so then the customer can approve all the documents and then you have to go to the fourth let's say step which is product and process validation so at this step you have everything should be frozen and you have to start the validation of the product and process in general the meaning here it means that what you developed in the phase two the products that you developed in the phase two should be produced in the process that you designed in the phase three respecting all the requirements that was agreed in the phase one so once you show and prove to your customer that you can produce this product uh, respecting all the requirements in a such process so then you can go let's say to the next step but before to go to the next step here what is giving you the green light to go so once everything is approved then you have to submit let's say the pip up to your customer so at this level uh, the phase for where or when you are uploading or submitting the pip up to your customer so once the pip up is approved and all the other documents of this phase four are approved so then you can start the sop or start of production and then you can go to the phase five and the last phase so the last phase which is phase five it's the feedback assessment and corrective actions so even you are going to do let's say to the sop to the start of production and the pip up is approval here we are we are giving let's say more or less it's six months means this five this five uh, this phase five mm. it uh, it can take more or less six months what does it mean it means that the project team that was developing all those phases they should stay with the serial production team to have all the feedback assessments and to close all the corrective actions because during those phases sometimes there is something which is not uh, representing a high risk and we cannot wait for the approval and we cannot wait for example to be closed before to go to the next step or to the next phase so sometimes the customer 
agree to make it as let's say open open issue or open point and you can step out to the next phase so at the end so the project team should close all the open issues and also have some feedbacks because at this stage you have already the starting of production and the volume is so high so maybe uh, some uh, let's say big issues can can appear and the serial project uh, team cannot deal with that because they don't know the background and they don't know the details of this project so for this reason the project team should stay more or less six months after production it starts uh, to to let's say to have the feedbacks to support the serial production team to close all the open issues and at the end to hand over the project to the serial production team for example if you have advanced supplier quality he should hand over the project to the to the supplier quality if you have uh, let's say uh, advanced the purchasing they should uh, let's say hand over the documents and the project to the buyers and so on and so on so at the end if everything is closed and everything is okay so then the serial the project team should hand over the the, the documents and the project to the to the serial production uh, team and then they can go to take a new project if it's it's the case so now uh, i will show you just an example of the ipqp of one customer of one oem with all the documents and all the phases inside so let's see that right now so here you have this this example uh, look here we have we have here five phases phase one two three four and five as i explained to you and here you have all the documents here uh, let's see just some example product and process concept study product quality and reliability management sub supplier management identification of the project team uh, project planning and product preparation monitoring project risk and concern management uh, product and process design review design failure mode and effect analysis so here you have all the documents regarding the design of EMEA, fault tree analysis uh, change list and so on and so on so here you have all those documents and you have here a matrix and here you have those phases phase one two three four and five and here it gives to you if it's requested in which phase for example here you have all the documents that you have to upload and here it shows you in which phase you have to upload it and the numbers here it means that if it's requested let's say an approval from the customer or not and so on so it's it's a matrix uh, of of uh, that that is presented by by this this customer so here you are uploading the documents in the portal of the customer for example let's let's take this example in the phase one what are the documents that are requested so here we have for example we have the product and process concept proposal we have the product quality target study plan and we have product reliability target study plan so here the the the, the responsible or the supplier should prepare all those documents and upload it in the in the portal of the customer or send it by email it depends of the customer and then waiting for his approval so once everything is approval but you have to take into consideration that you have to respect the due dates so here also the customer uh, is let's say is putting the requirements of the due dates for every for every phase so here once you upload all those documents and once you have the approval from your customer sometimes you have let's say some feedbacks sometimes the customer asks you no you have to update this one or this document is not the correct one and so on so once everything is approved then you can step out and go to the to the phase two where you have to prepare the required let's say again documents so for example in the phase two you have here the uh, the component uh, supply chain chart you have the supplier contact uh, directory you have the design FMEA, you have the the fta and so on so once you upload all those documents again and once the supplier the customer sorry approved it with the prototype then you have to go to the phase three and start to prepare all the documents but 
uh, let's say it's your management so you can prepare also you cannot wait until the phase three to prepare the documents of the phase three so you have to have the overview and make some uh, let's say planning uh, your project management planning with everything in more details with Gantt or with your PMP and so on in order to prepare all the elements in uh, let's say in details respecting the, the 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 deadlines of your customer so this is the example so i hope that this video will help you to to, to understand uh, more or less uh, the, the the ipqp and uh, see you next time in another video bye